Coming off a difficult and emotional week, the Rebels host the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs for homecoming. With only three games left on the schedule, winning is the top priority. Okay, when he does it, and he sends it in, you say it right there in the hall. Coach is over there doing this right here before he makes a call. Hard count, hard count, hard count. You just start echoing. You hear it, you say it. You hear it, you say it. You hear it, you say it. It's a reminder. Be disciplined. Understand the game. When you watch the cutters on short yards, on them, when you watch the cutters, Coach Price said the cutters. Every time I start to <laughs> trying to get you to jump. You realize if I'm really disciplined, Coach Burns just talked about with her eyes, Kai. He said, Frank, eyes, be disciplined. Know the situation, know where your keys are at. Them things gonna help you. We don't do these things, we don't make up signals and stuff for the heck of it. We're trying to help prepare you for the situation. Three good ones, let's go. Nice. I like it. I like it. I put 465 on that squad at five. Oh, yeah, times. my bitch is higher than yours, my clean huh? is higher than yours, and my squad's higher than yours. Get this on camera. All right. Hey, Matt, get a, get a good look at him. He mad because I squat. Hey, he, he want to be like me. More. Because <laughs> he, he, ah. wants, he wants was with me. Now he's he trying to be like me. Bending at the waist, bend that knee. All right? Keep working that knee. Chest up. Bend, bend. There you go. Nice job, baby. Good job. Los, you ready? One time. Let's go, baby. What? He's doubting you, baby. He's doubting you. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, why did he doubt? Why did he doubt? It was like you made a tackle, but you didn't extend your hips, okay? So when you're here, if you don't get your hips fully extended, here's what that does. It starts, the bar will stop lower, and it's going to be harder for you to get under. If you get fully extended, that bar is going to come up higher. It's going to be easier for you to get. So you need to think about the difference between a picture-perfect tackle and just getting the guy to the ground. The season. Old Miss football is brought to you in part by FedEx. We understand you need a winning game plan. FedEx, proud sponsor of Old Miss football. By the Mississippi Department of Transportation, making Mississippi proud. By Regions Bank, where you get more financial control. Proud sponsor of the Rebels and official bank of the SEC. And by TEC, providing you broadband voice and data solutions. Visit TEC.com to find out more. Hey, Barnes, my parents want to talk to you. Oh, so what? Uh, they don't really think you're an exchange student. What? They think you're a businessman using our house to meet new clients in China. For reals, player? They overheard a phone call. Something about shipping with FedEx to Shanghai, and then you opened a bottle of champagne. That was for a science project. I'm late for soccer. Rehearsal. Hey, Bong, yeah. You and I are cool. I'll be home by curfew. We understand. You need a partner who can help you go global. FedEx. Everybody wants more financial control, but it's not always easy. At Regions, we have the tools and expertise to really help you find your balance. Like the freedom to access and monitor your accounts anytime, anywhere with online and mobile banking. Real guidance and solutions from a Regions personal savings and debt review. Plus, at Regions, you'll get the award-winning service people are talking about. It's financial control. Well, like you haven't had before. Wow. Unbelievable. Please hold. Transferring call. To where, Kuala Lumpur? Goodbye. Can I help you? I'm having a problem with my streaming video conference. Screaming. S streaming. Transferring audio. Video. <laughs> screaming. <sighs> Hello. You're having audio problems? I actually, my video stalled. And oh, then yes. Reinstall. Transferring to software. Re reinstall? No. Wait. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Sounds like you have a bad it's line. Not... Transferring to hardware. No. Good job, girls. Enjoy your break. Come on, let's go, let's go.
You never know where your litter may end up. Pick it up, Mississippi. Playing for pride is always a difficult notion. But as the week of practice begins, the Rebels seem focused on one thing, winning homecoming. I'm running out of Tuesdays. I'm running out of Tuesdays. In case you don't notice, men, I got it down to about 15 periods, and I will stick with my word for 15 <coughs> periods. Please move fast. Please stay up. Please be physical. Let's get this game plan down now. It's homecoming. Last week's announcement has the coaching staff trying to keep the players focused on the task at hand, executing the game plan for Louisiana Tech. Flat! Good, stick it on him. Nice, nice, nice. It's illegal now for a linebacker to intercept a pass. They've changed the rule. Here we go, baby! Brad, hit your head up. Brad, make it look real, Brad. Make it look real, that's fake. Make it look real like you're coming off on go. Now look, I want you to be Joe Montana, you know what I mean? Give me, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a guy going down the boundary, you're the last resort, you could be wide open. You gotta let him pick and roll, boss. You with me? You gotta be paid. First of all, how far are you gonna be from him? Five, he sets it, you got me? Good stances, get off. I'm gonna tell you, it's blue, Bert. Okay, you guys move around, dance it forth. Back and forth, let's give him a good look. Here we go. Run in now, man. Every ball you throw, just take a just take a short step. Play like you're playing catch, man. A prominent member of the freshman class making an impact on the defensive side of the ball is Pascagoula native Sinquez Golson. However, his journey to Ole Miss almost didn't happen. Oh uh, well, you know, I had a couple of offers. Uh... I can honestly say though, uh, when I first got my offer from Ole Miss, I was like, nah, I don't know. You know, I ain't really too much heard about Ole Miss. And then uh, came on a visit, scheduled my visit. Probably after about 15 minutes, I was like, yeah, it's probably going to be the school that I'm coming to. So, you know, after so long, uh, I think it was at the Danny Dozen uh, photo shoot, and I had committed right before I came. And um, committed playing, you know, football and baseball. You know, then um, the draft. Baseball draft, you know, I ended the draft. Had to make a decision on whether I wanted to come to school or the baseball draft, you know, that took a little minute, got all the way down to probably the last day, like the last couple of minutes before making a decision. Flew out to Boston, uh, took a physical and stuff like that. Uh, it was kind of hard, you know, sitting there and you're looking at a piece of paper with, you know, a whole bunch of zeros on it. With a one in front of you, like, dang, you know, I think it got all the way down to a pen in my hand. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it. And then it's like, nah, I couldn't make up my mind, you know, so I felt like the best thing for me to do was just stay here. You know, um, I didn't feel like I was ready, I guess, I guess you would say. You know, uh, I felt like coming to college, you maybe uh, have a little bit more time to, I guess, experience new things and grow up before I go out there on my own. One life experience Sinquez witnessed firsthand was Hurricane Katrina in 2005. He and his family were there. Well, I actually myself didn't get, you know, too much of water. Thank God because of the way um, my house was positioned, kind of like on the hill. So um, it actually came all the way up the driveway, maybe to like the garage, you know. Um, you know, I had a lot of like my grandmas and my uncles and stuff like that got washed clean out of their house and they was just stayed like right around the corner. So that was they probably cause they was on flat land, but my cousin whole roof came off during Katrina. My grandma and them they had to get up in the attic because they they got washed out. You know, um after Katrina, afterward we probably went without lights for forever. It seemed like it was months, you know, uh, they used to have a um an airplane used to come down and land at like a the um like a local football field and it seemed like the whole town used to just run up there they used to just deliver bags of ice and I used to run up there full speed every day and get about two or three bags of ice and bring them back home kind of glad that you go through the hard times so you know when things get hard again and don't be you know that bad as you think it is because you know, you'd have been through it before so now you better overcome it a little bit good day today good day today I want to be fast Saturday night 
I really want to be faster than the team we play. Remember this. Life's full of uh, obstacles. There are going to be some things that happen that don't always go just right. But that doesn't mean, okay, I'm going to go crawl up somewhere and go get mad, try to beat somebody up or stay away. No, you go face it. Always remember, you got to face it head on, man. There ain't no round, there ain't no, oh, I'm just going to go ball up now. No, you don't do it. You, you can't get anything solved that way. Okay? Handle your problems. Let's be fast. Let's come back tomorrow now. Let's get a little bit more polish on this game plan. This is our homecoming. A lot of former players come back, man, to see this time right here. I have an awesome respect for our former players that come back. Sometimes the only time, the only game they see is homecoming. I want to have a real heart, in it, real passion for the game. So let's get ready. Please hold. Transferring call. To where, Kuala Lumpur? Goodbye. Can I help you? I'm having a problem with my streaming video conference. Screaming. S streaming. Transferring audio. It's video. <laughs> Not screaming. <sighs> Hello, you're having audio problems? I actually, my video stalled. And oh, then yes, reinstall. Transferring to software. Re reinstall? No, wait. Ah! Oh my gosh, sounds like you have a bad it's line. Not... Transferring to hardware. No. Hey guys, I know I've been bad at this in the past, so I've come up with some mnemonic devices to help me learn your names. Hello, a penny saved is a penny earned. Oh, that's because FedEx Ground helps you save money. That's right, Penny. Tino Hours. Heavens to Betsy, oh. uh, Dwayne the Bathtub, Magic Wanda. Hey, yeah. <laughs> and what's mine? Uh, you're a Dan fool. Oh. It's just a device, Dan. You can't take it personally. Oh, that's cool. We understand. You need a partner who helps you save. FedEx Ground. It is a place which, which exerts an extraordinary pull on all who have walked its hallowed ground. A major university with the familiar intimacy of family. Contests waged and triumphs savored. With our largest freshman class, Soaring Honors College, national reputation for academics and research. Today, for all who have ever called this magical place home, you never leave Ole Miss. game day. The rebel faithful began filing in the grove, and they were eager to cheer on the rebels as they prepared to take on the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. Out, pre game stretching with Coach Wilfon. He's trying to get me on camera, make a weird face, but it's not gonna happen. It's all tough. We had a real good week. Let's take that week to the field now. Let's quieten them up a little bit. They're talking too much. And the only way you do that is use this. Use that right there. You don't have to talk back to them, just use this right here. Kickoff team, if you start the game, you set the tempo. Kickoff return, if you start the game, you set the tempo without a penalty. Let's have a lot of fun tonight. Let's be real, real fast tonight. Let's go execute, man. Hey, offense, stay on the field. Defense, put that hat on them, baby. Let's go. The Rebels win the toss and elect to receive the ball. Matt Nelson will kick for Louisiana Tech. 54 kickoffs, nine touchbacks, and here's the kick back to receive. Herman and Scott for Ole Miss. It's taken on the near side by Scott. He takes it back to the middle of the field of the 20 to the 25, knocked off his feet at the 26-yard line, and that's where the Rebels will start, first down and 10. After a slow start, the Rebels began to move the ball. Randall Mackey would find Dante Moncrief for 11 yards to keep the chains moving. Then he would hit Brandon Bolden, 
for a 34-yard strike. Second down, here's the handoff, or fake handoff, and now thrown deep down the near sidelines. Bolden, touchdown! We've been running stretch and stretch for the past couple weeks, and so just kind of put a little sucker to it. It's just going out as if I'm going to block the corner. And hopefully he, he turns and runs with the uh, wide receiver, and if he does, the safety should be coming down and check me. Just go stalk block him as I'm going to block him and then run right by him. It's a wheel route and a post to clear it out, and so they just left it wide open. On the following possession, Lennon Creer would have the ball knocked loose by C.J. Johnson, and Cody Pruitt emerged from the pile with the ball. Come down some, okay? Good job, let's make sure we're doing a good job getting off the blocks on the perimeter. Hey, get on him and get off. Don't start block, on and on Ladies and gentlemen. The ensuing Rebel drive would be aided by Louisiana Tech penalties. And with the drive stalling at the 18, Bryson Rose would be called on for a 36-yard field goal attempt. But after hitting 17 straight, this one was wide right. The second quarter was back and forth, with neither team giving an inch. The defensive struggle continued for the first 11 and a half minutes of the quarter, until Louisiana Tech hit their first touchdown strike of the night. Look to the throw, sprints out to his right, being chased. Now has time, stops at the sidelines, throws toward the end zone, and it's caught in the back of the end zone with three Rebels in front of the Cairo, and he goes up and grants and dime stakes. The underneath have got to get their drop to the stakes. Everybody with me there? As time was running out in the quarter, Matt Nelson's 43-yard field goal attempt would ricochet off the left upright and fall in for the score. Louisiana Tech would take the 10-7 lead going in at the half. Whoever it is, four by four on the end down the last scrimmage. Wider. Levis just starting to go where the ball doesn't get outside. He's going to throw 20 more times. Okay, let's get in our hands with the ball. Let's get an interception. Everybody understand that? Okay, we got to fight. Fight. I want you, before you go out there, I want you to know this, that you can win the ball game. Don't go out there with that head down and all that. I, I don't want that. You go out there with a real attitude now. You're better than they are. Let's go prove it. I need a real good kickoff, good coverage, defense. <coughs> Give me three and out or a turnover. And offense, let's stay on the field. Let's get this thing done now. We're better than that. Let's hit this thing running. Here we go, go, go. The third quarter saw the Rebels use a mixture of air and ground attacks. Running backs Jeff Scott and Brandon Bolden were the workhorses. Scott would rip off seven for a first down. Then Bolden would run for 14 more. Once again, the Rebels would call on Bryson Rose for a 52-yard field goal attempt. And for the second time in the game, it was wide right. Thank you by the time you will be another one lined up like in the, on the outside of the almost charge. As soon as you beat this one, this room is spinning. The home run is open. Okay, with me on the home run pass. You go to safety. You go all the way across the field. That safety's coming all the way down, with me. Hey, don't look where you see him. Get straight downhill. All right, if you got a wide wire, but that's a sack to get straight downhill. The Rebel defense was bringing the heat from the edge, as well as from the corners, keeping the pressure on the Bulldogs. Following a Louisiana Tech field goal, the Rebels were on the move. Mackey hits Moncrief over the middle for a big gain. Then, on second and four, an errant handoff caused a fumble. Chad Boyd would scoop it up and race 33 yards for another Bulldog touchdown. The fourth quarter would begin with the Bulldogs driving on third and nine from the Ole Miss 22. True freshman Sinquez Golson picked off Cameron's pass. Right, runs out of the pocket, looks to throw. Lofts it downfield and it's gonna be picked off by Ole Miss at the one yard line, it's Sinquez Golson. Golson with his career first interception, a freshman from Pascagoula, Mississippi. Um, well, it was in a zone coverage, so um... The man I was guarding kind of stopped in the flats and uh, kept going back into my zone because I seen number two receiver come deep. You know, I was just in the right place at the right time. He threw it right to me. Hey, that's great defense, man. 
Two plays later, Javante Crow returned the favor, picking off Zach Stout and taking it in for six. When it was all said and done, Louisiana Tech wins 27 7. All I want you to do is finish. That's all I want you to do. Some of y'all played very hard tonight. I really appreciate it. We're down at what, about two weeks together. But if you're just going to go through the motion, man, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Uh, I would go as hard as, I, hard as you can. And I, I need the ones that uh, somebody else is going to coach you next year. And I understand all that. I know how hard that is. But that team right there should have been beaten. And um, all I want from you is your best. That's all I want. Do what's right tonight. Make good decisions in school now. And let's go. I'd like to finish it up. We're only playing the number one team in the country this week. And we've always played them real good. But I want you to I want you to want to do it. I want you to want to do it. As hard as you can. That's all I want. Does your business have the financial control it needs? Here's what you can expect from Regions. A bank that provides you with real business expertise. Check. A professional optimization of your cash flow with a Regions Cash Core analysis. Check. Cash management solutions and the smart lending options you need to grow your business. Check. Plus, it all comes with award-winning service to help you achieve more balance. Interested? Let's talk. Looking good. Good job, girls. Enjoy your break. You never know where your litter may end up. Pick it up, Mississippi. It is a place which, which exerts an extraordinary pull on all who have walked its hallowed ground. A major university with the familiar intimacy of family. Contests waged and triumphs sacred. With our largest freshman class, Soaring Honors College, national reputation for academics and research. Today, for all who have ever called this magical place home, you never leave Ole Miss. And boy, Bolden's back there in the Wild Rebel. He'll take the snap directly, will keep it and run, and he's slices toward the goal line. He stretches, and he scores! Touchdown, Ole Miss! It was a counter play, and uh, Davon Gerald was the center then, and he, I played, uh, he was my offensive lineman in high school as well. He, uh, we got the play call, he turned around, he said, bro, you gonna score on this play? And uh, he called it, and just faked right, ran left, uh, got hit and just, I remember reaching over a guy and just feeling my body in the ball across the end zone. He was the first person to pick me up off the ground. And uh, as soon as he pulled me up, he showed where, he showed me where my mom was sitting. I mean, because we scored right in front of me. So, I mean, it was, it was real special. <laughs> uh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I scored, I scored. What I do, what to do, what to do? Because I had the ball in my hand. <laughs> and it's funny because if you even watch the film, you, I couldn't, I didn't know how to celebrate. All I do is just jump and just jump up and down because <laughs> I couldn't believe it myself. I mean, uh, it was great just to be in the end zone in a different jersey. I mean, it felt great. I'm very excited. Um, it's a, a dream come true. You know, like I said last time, I don't picture myself. I never picture myself being in this this atmosphere and what's gonna happen on Saturday. I never picture myself being there. And I'm just gonna go out there and give my heart. You know, it's going I believe if I show myself this game, I get out there and say get ten tackles or. Do good this game. I feel like a lot of people start believing me more. You know, be like, hey, don't worry about it. Maybe it's not his size. Maybe he can, he's a regular ball player. You know, maybe he can get out there and do things that 
six four linebackers can do, you know. So I just want to go out there. That's that's all I'm going out there to do. Prove myself every game, every game. You know, I just want to start winning. You know, I I came from a high school that doesn't really lose a lot, so all I got to get back to that winning. You got nothing to lose. There's no one team in the nation. They probably got more pressure on them than we do. You know, we're gonna come out and play hard. Uh, I haven't really seen too much of them yet. Uh, just picked up a DVD, but. Uh, we know that physical football team, and uh, they're gonna come out and they're gonna try to run the football. Uh, we just gotta be physical and just, I mean, we just gotta come out and play with heart, play with passion, leave it on the field, and I'm sure we can win. We can beat anybody in the country. I feel like LSU is just gonna run the ball, pound it, pound it, pound it. But uh, you know, we got some good set of linebackers, we got a good set of D lines. So, like I said, you know, you, they gotta come with it. You know, we gonna we gonna go out there and give 100 percent. I know they're going to give 100% because they're on a mission right now. They're on a mission, and I believe they feel like we in their way. You know, so we're just going to go out there and I feel like we ain't got nothing to lose. We're going out there and play for pride. And, uh, you know, they're trying to still be that number one team, so they're going to come out there and fight hard, just like we're going to go out there and fight hard. You know, you got to play for pride. LSU, to me, is my egg bowl. It is my old Miss playing Mississippi State because majority of the team I know the neighborhood I stay in is a, it's, it's about a two-mile street that's one way in, one way out. We stay in the cul-de-sac in the back. And the only difference on that street that we stay on is my house and that old Miss flag flying. And it's, it's, it's almost like bragging rights for a year. I mean, if, I, if, if we come out with a W, my mom and them walk with their head held high. My mom and them go walk in the neighborhood with their rebel stuff on and be like, hi, we the rebels, we won. It's, it's an overall just great experience and it kind of like you're trying to showcase your talents, you know, from, from 10 years ago, how you played then, to 10 years ago, till now. You're a pop one and now you're a collegiate athlete. Ooh, to leave Ole Miss with a 3-1 record against LSU, that would be awesome. That I just had, I had bragging rights basically for the rest of my life. That was my last game. So it was like basically whatever happened after that, I could always say, hey, when I was there, we were three and one. I mean, Ole Miss will continue to do good against LSU, so I'm not worried about it.